Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are back at the house. You can tell behind me lots of construction and mess back there. But um, we are down to week six until move in. It is going by so fast. So for this week, I'm going to be showing you up here first because we did some painting in two of the rooms. So I wanna show you how that came out. Both the colors picked perfect, work out great. Definitely open up the space and make it look like airy and bright. The colors that were previously in there, one was like a peachy pink in Mila's room. We toned it down to a blush pink, which is the same color we have in the nursery. And then for my office, well, what's gonna be my office for now, we went with a very neutral pale color, like a grayish. So I'll show you what that looks like. And then downstairs, I'll go ahead and show you the only thing that's been taking tons of time is really just doing the bathroom because you guys know cutting tile, laying it out, it's very hard work. And I didn't do like sheet tiles, which would be much faster and easier. Everything that I picked was per piece. So four by 12 sizes of like Carrera marble to do the subway look on the floor, the herringbone pattern. So the only thing that was a sheet was actually the shower floor. Everything else had to be sized piece by piece, especially design the niche so that takes a ton of time which we did not realize we thought it was going to be a little bit less but better perfect than doing it too fast and messing things up so without further ado let's go on in and show you guys what things look like so i'll go ahead and show you guys this room first this is going to be like my office for now we painted it Pale Oak from Benjamin Moore, but you guys know I just did it like in the Bear brand. It's a grayish color, so it pulls a little gray, a little beige, which is what I wanted, just something very neutral. And the reason I did this color in this room too is because I'm trying to decide on an all over house color. So this is definitely one of the contenders. Whenever you swatch, you can't really tell honestly how it's gonna look on an entire wall. So placing it in one of these rooms really helped to decide if it's going to be something like this. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think this would be a good color for all over the house or if you have any other suggestions because we are going to be painting, I wanna say next week already. So I definitely have to get started on narrowing that down. And then over here is Mila's room. Her room is completely painted. You guys know I love this blush pink color. This is the same color as her bedroom right now. So I stuck with the same one since I know I love it. And it goes great with all of her decor. The toddler room I'm gonna be doing in a couple of months, just kind of transforming. I'm going for a whole like boho theme and this color works out perfect with that. Her bed luckily transitions into a full size bed. So we'll just be doing that once we move in, she'll get her big girl bed. <laughs> Here on the windowsills it had like tons of nails so that those were just kind of filled in those gaps. Now you can tell it's nice and smooth and then painted a nice white trim. That's what that one looks like. Sorry for the lighting, guys. It's sunny today, yet the sun is still coming down, so it's a little weird. So that's that. Same thing on this side. And then for inside her closet, we're either gonna paint it just white or the same color as the room. We're still deciding on that. Oh, and also I wanted to show you guys, I'm not sure if I showed you um, on here yet. I don't think so. I think I just showed it on Instagram. <laughs> um, but this is what, let's take it on out a part of the shower will look like. I've been telling you guys I'm doing champagne bronze details. So this is just what that looks like. This is one of the pieces. It gets lots of fingerprints on it. <laughs> so if you guys know a good way to keep this clean and polished, let me know, cause I definitely will have to clean it up before putting in and then of course upkeeping it. And for those of you wondering, this is the Delta brand. You can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's. And this style is the Vero, B-E-R-O. They have different, of course, lines depending on the look. And then this is the piece to come down. I went with a waterfall style, so there'll be a long rod above it. And then to have it hang down. This way it's like a waterfall type of shower. So that's going to look really pretty. So I was excited that this came in <laughs> so I can show you what that looks like. I'd already order a bathroom faucet for the vanity in this same color so that could match. All right guys, so now we've narrowed down to three final paint colors. I'm kind of doing like each room up here different colors just so I can see it in a full room and then know what the overall like whole downstairs is gonna be. I'm prepared this time. I have the proper painting product. So I'm just gonna use one of these rollers, put one of these like cushiony pads 
and then I'm going to sample it on this wall that I did last time that doesn't reflect so much sunlight and then the opposite wall that direct daylight is facing it so I could compare the two. All right, so the three I'm gonna be sampling is Benjamin Moore's Classic Gray, Benjamin Moore's Edge Home Gray, which you guys saw. I'm gonna try it one more time. And then Swiss Coffee by Bear. So this one's one it's supposed to be one of the lightest, so we'll see. Which one we like best, line them all up, use the proper tools, and hopefully we can get a true color of what this is going to sunlight we have swiss coffee by bear classic gray bedroom more and edgecomb gray bedroom more and then i'll show you guys the other wall where as you can see direct sunlight hits it because of these two windows coming in so here once again i did it the same order swiss coffee classic gray and edgecomb gray i think i'm liking classic gray for the bathrooms i'll do both of them the same color and then maybe Swiss coffee for the laundry room since there's no window in there. I want to go for something really light to brighten it up. And especially because I'm going to do like light gray cabinets in there for storage. And then Edgecomb gray possibly for this one. room now that's Lottie's lights when painting to yeah. see when he paints at night oh. but do you like your room yeah see now it's painted pink. It's, pink. it's pink yeah, yeah. Pink. same color as your room now I know we have to clean up for because the other put the floors in soon yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I know there's got on the floor yeah we have to finish and then come out. Okay. Oh, yeah? yeah. Alright guys, so I just got to my mom's house and I realized that I didn't even film an outro, but this now completes my house update week six. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and I will talk to you guys all my next one. Bye.